This is the world's shortest crash course for the ACF plugin. We'll go step by step and make this a very practical guide for even absolute beginners to start using ACF to add custom fields like these that I'm showing here. You will get comfortable with using any of these different fields easily. Hey, while uploading this video, I thought it'd be a good time to talk about something important. As many of you know, after the whole WP Engine and WordPress situation, ACF is no longer available in the WordPress repository. If you already have it installed, that's great. But hold on because I've got something crucial to share. Now, if you're just getting started, you can still download the ACF plugin from their website. But here's the tricky part. How do you update the plugin to a new version since updates aren't showing up in the repository? That's where our tool Morpheus comes in. It mirrors the WordPress repository and fetches ACF updates directly from their GitHub page. Once you install Morpheus, updates for ACF will show up just like they used to. To install Morpheus, check the link in the description. Go here and download the plugin. And install it like any other plugin. And you'll immediately see an update button under the ACF plugin. Click it and you're all set with the latest version. We are also adding support for more plugins, so stay tuned for updates. Alright, now let's see how we can set up ACF. So let's begin by searching the ACF and installing it. Then open the plugin. And now for the product page, I'm going to select three different kinds of field. One is select, second is radio button, and third is taxonomy. For select, we need to change the field type to select first. Then, and the field name as color. Now, write the two varieties of choices in t-shirts we sell, solid and mix, in two separate lines under the choices. No need to change anything else here. Finally, we need to change this post to product. This is the most important step. It makes the ACF reflect on the product page. Likewise, we will add another field, radio button, to our product as well. I am fast forwarding it as the process is almost similar. Now, I have shown you how to add two different types of ACF to the product page, which looks like this. Next, we can create subcategories under this as well. Let's add a new field type and select its type to be a checkbox. Then, we name it solid to represent all the solid colors. For the values, I am writing some of these. You can add more later by editing this field. We need to change this post type to product like we did with earlier iterations of product specific fields. Lastly, the important bit, we need to add a bit of conditional logic to this field. Let's go to the conditional logic section and turn it on. Now we have to change the has any value to value equals to and the last section to solid. This last statement completes our logic, which is show the field only if the value of the color field is equal to solid. Now, before we move forward and explore custom taxonomies, one problem I see with a lot of WooCommerce sites is that they are very slow, which hurts their SEO and conversions as well. So I use this free plugin called Airlift and let me quickly show you why. That's how much it boosted my site speed because it does so many optimizations automatically and it's unbelievable, this is all for free. So if this looks interesting, Try it out by going to elif.net and download the plugin for free from there. Now let's explore the taxonomy. Using that, you can add a completely new category to your products. So back in the plugin, click here and add a new taxonomy. Now we are naming it Seasons. Fill these as specified, same name but singular. Okay, here's the important part. This post type should be a product and this hierarchical setting needs to be turned on. It helps to create subcategories. Now save the changes. Moving to the product page, you can see that there's a new sub page called seasons. Upon entering, we can see that it's empty. Let's add some seasons like summer, winter and rainy. For that, just type the season name here like this. You can add a slug name, but it's not mandatory. Then press the add season button below to add different seasons. Well, you can see that the seasons are updated. Just like summer, let's add some more seasons. Now under this summer season, let's add a subcategory of beachwear like this. But don't forget to change this parent season to summer. After the addition, now 
you can see the beach were added to a list of seasons. This double dash verifies that it's a subcategory. With all things in place, let's head back to all product page. This t-shirt looks fine. And if I scroll down, here you can see the seasons category. This is a beachwear t-shirt, so it goes under the summer category and beachwear subcategory. Now this demo should give you an idea about how to add custom fields to products, but to apply this on your site practically, you'll need to use dynamic tags. On this single product page, I'll add the ACF fields below the category section. First, grab an icon list and drag it into your desired space. Now, remove these elements from your page, including the image icon. Click on this icon to add dynamic tags. You'll see a variety of options to choose from, but we only need to add an ACF field as a dynamic tag. Click here to change the key to colors and under advanced settings, write pattern here. Now duplicate this icon list and change the key and before to solids and color. Duplicate the icon list again and this time change the key and before to gender and gender. Finally, make the content inline like this. Let's add some styling to our ACF fields. Head to the style section, make the spacing 16 pixels and add a divider. You can choose the divider color from an existing color on the page through a color sampler. We can also customize the text style. In this example, I've selected green, but feel free to pick your own color. Then update the page from here. And now your ACF fields are displayed using dynamic tags, which allow users to add their data. For this page, we set keys for color, pattern, and gender. The values displayed on the web page are solid for pattern, yellow for color, and unisex for gender which was set beforehand in the product section. So I've shown you the fundamentals to get started using this plugin. Comment below if you want a longer, more detailed tutorial and what all you'd like me to cover there. Click this video if you want to triple your size speed in just one minute. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.